All right, <clears throat> today I got some whoopies, and these are Archispirostreptus, I think that's how you pronounce it, Jigus, and they are the African uh, Giant Black Millipede, and that one there in front is the female, and that little smaller one there is male and um, apparently males are very rare um, he was much more expensive he was twice the price of the female and they're the females a little bigger it's I would say it's um, about from my wrist to my pinky so I would say that's about six or seven inches maybe and the male's a little bit smaller, um, <clears throat> probably five to six inches. And they're really cool. I'm really, really excited uh, for this. I'm, I mean, obviously, I got a male and female trying to breed them. Um, I got them from uh, Bugs in Cyberspace, uh, Peter Clausen. Thank you very much. And um, he was telling me that they're very, very difficult to breed. And, you know, they, since they were illegal, made, or illegal to import, um, they imported thousands, hundreds of thousands of them. And now they're suddenly very, very, very rare in the trade. And it's because they don't breed very well. So, if there is anybody who's watching this who can give me any tips, please feel free to give me some tips. Um, I'd really like to start a breeding project with them, uh, with these guys, and uh, I hope to produce some little ones. And if, um, if I do, of course, I'll make a video of that, and anyone who's interested in purchasing them, I would love to make a little bit of the money back that I paid for these guys. And uh, so, anyway, so I got them in... Um, in the eco eco earth uh, uh, coconut fibers, and I got some apples cut up in here. I'll put some more stuff in there later. They just came in today, so you can see they don't like the light. <laughs> so I just think they're the coolest thing I always did since I was a little kid. I wish this uh, camera could zoom in better. Maybe it can. I don't know. Because their little faces are so cool. Looks like it's going to go out of focus. I love the color on them. They're so... Uh, it's hard to tell in here. I mean, they look lighter on the camera, but... They're they're like a matte black. I mean, they're kind of shiny, but it's, it's like matte. <clears throat> I really like it. It's really cool. Oh, and while I'm here... I might as well get a video the other new arrivals that I got recently. Oh, uh, heat tape in there. Alright. This little girl is, is very nippy and she's in shed right now. But you can see it's a California king snake. Um, hopefully she'll shed sh soon. I'm doing a show on Friday. Today is Wednesday. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's great. There's a little display there. Oh, she's angry, huh? Alright. <clears throat> yeah, she's in shed, though. That's probably what that is. She ate yesterday, too. That's good. I got her and this guy yesterday. This is um, an apricot. Quilbin uh, milk snake. And he's very friendly, but a little skittish, which I'm, I think <clears throat> most milk snakes are skittish. I think that's what that is. I've never owned any colubrids before, so this is the first for me. But uh, they're they're much different from pythons. That's all I've had is pythons, but they're so different. Just the way they move and. Uh, the way they feed, and um, I, you know, I hope to learn. 
Obviously, I did my research, but it's nothing like actually seeing. So, uh oh. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. He's, he's scrummy. I will hide there. He's stuck on these caves. Um, it does look a bit humid in there. I, I heard that they're supposed to have high humidity, but maybe it's too high in there. I don't know. I might have to drill some holes. I heard these, the king snakes I read are supposed to have low humidity, so I just drilled some holes in there. Um, what else? I got, uh, this girl. Oh, it's dry in here. Uh, she's eating well. She's doing very well. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about Hepide markers on her. This is, uh, for anyone who, who didn't know, I guess most people wouldn't know. I don't know if I did a video on her. This is my female, um, cinnamon 50% possible Hepide. And you can see, uh, she just looks like a normal cinnamon to me. I don't see anything special in her, any markings, I mean, I don't know, I think her father actually has a nicer pattern than she does, um, uh, she's, she's, uh, not cooperating, alright, I want to get this belly shot, I want to see if, uh, alright, can you see that, oh, that's terrible, Come on, girl. Don't be shy. There we go. Alright, so I don't know what het pied markers would look like on a cinnamon, but um, that's what she looks like. And, I mean, there's two little, little tracks of lines there. I don't know if that's, if that's what it looks like on a cinnamon. She's so squirmy. Right there, we've got two little little tracks. I don't know if you can see those are right there on either side. But then, uh, I don't know, that's not what I would consider to be a marker. I would think it was on the side here. But, uh, I don't really look at anything. The whole belly is very clean. So, I don't know. But there is a little, that little bit there, I don't know if that's it. But, uh, yeah, in about two and a half, three years, we'll, uh, hopefully my male pied will want to breed by then, and we'll find out. So that's it, and, and they need water, it's pretty dry in, in their cage here. Oh, I should drink all their water. She's eating well, they're eating very well. Um, in here is, I, I tried to pop, I thought this was a male, but I tried to pop him and I didn't see any hemipenes earlier, but he is eating, or she, because I might be wrong, um, it, she's, he, or he is eating extremely well, and I'm very happy about it. But, uh, He's doing pretty well. I love the marking that they had. <clears throat> in my opinion, I, I think they're really nice markings on uh, on these the the two that I still have of the uh, pastels that I hatched out. Yeah, it's a uh, watering day over here. Well, I should say I've been dry lately. I haven't had water. So, I got a, another jug of it uh, early out yesterday. Anyway, this one, I think, I don't know, I'm colorblind, but there's, uh, the colors seem a little different to me. Um, I don't know if it's, it seems lighter. I mean, obviously not exantic, but it, it seems along those lines. Very light coloring. Uh, maybe I'm, I mean, it's just me being colorblind, but it seems different than this one. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that's a lot different. 
And so, anyway. Uh, big news is obviously the HBs, but the. Oh, people are going to complain now that it's dark. I uh, apologize. Here's the light. And, uh, just in the process of cleaning the cages, took out a newspaper, but I didn't put in a cage, new, uh, I didn't clean it yet. Anyway, that's her. That's my pied female. And she is 1,044 grams as of today. Uh, that's full. She ate yesterday. I'm going to try and feed her again today. She ate a couple of mice. Let's see if she'll eat some more. But, uh, I'm, I'm psyched about that. I think I'm going to put her in with my spider and my cinnamon. My cinnamon is in here. And... I'm going to get the light. No mating? No, I don't think so. Uh, they were earlier yesterday, but uh, that's the father, Cinnamon, of the uh, Cinnamon Hepide, or possible Hepide. This is a Hepide female, so make more silly possible Hepide. Mm -hmm. And the spider, oh, they were there. And uh, so, anyway. But. In the middle of clean cages and watering and all that, so I'm gonna get all that done. Um, well, yeah, we're gonna start out, start out here with these guys. I love these guys. I'm so excited about this. So, wish me luck. Woo!